so can you just let us know who you are and a bit about yourself, what you do? Okay, um, I'm Azita and um, I'm an interact reader, I'm also an actress mm -hmm. and uh, I've been working for interact for about a year and a few months now. Can you tell me a bit about how you came to read at, for Interact? Okay. Um, well, I I met Near Jay um, through um, like reading some of his plays, and um, he told me about the charity, and um, it really resonated with me because my dad had a stroke about um, twelve years ago, and he was in hospital for a year. Um, and he never left, unfortunately. But um, I do think that whole time when he was in hospital, he was um, actually paralysed from the neck down, wasn't able to read or write or anything. I think if he'd had the service, it, he would have benefited so much from it. And um, for that reason, I kind of thought, wow, this is a really great thing. And eventually, a spot came up um, at Homerton Hospital, which is where I live, um, near Homerton, and um, so I, I started reading there, and the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. And um, can you tell me a little bit about the work that you do for Interact? So perhaps um, what a typical session might be like, or, I don't know, a, a story about someone that you've read to and you've had a connection with, just some, like something for the website. Yeah, sure. Um, well, usually in a session, I look at the folder and sort of see who's been read to recently, look at a few of the notes, and um, often the physiotherapists and speech therapists write down who they think might be a good person to read to. And then I just kind of walk around and see if those people are available and kind of target them. And um, what I usually do is just go up to people, say hello, tell them who I am, and just ask if I can sit with them. And I don't talk about the service straight away because some people can, can sort of think, oh, but I'm not sure if I want to be read to straight away. Um, but once you establish a bit of a, a bond with them and find out a bit about them, then you can kind of say, I think there's something that you'd really enjoy listening to, a poem or a story, and then you just kind of read to them. And um, yeah, it often it, it triggers off memories. Um, I remember one guy who hadn't spoken for, well, I don't think he'd ever spoken since he'd had the stroke and been in the hospital. And um, I read him a Philip Larkin poem, The Trees, and at the end of it, he just, he looked at me for ages and he just said, spring persists. And I thought that's really triggered something in him. That's such an articulate thing to say for someone who, who hasn't been able to talk for so long. Um, so that was really amazing. Um, but I feel like every time I go in, I meet amazing people who just have so much to share. And for me, it's very much a two-way thing. Like, I don't feel like I'm there to help people. I feel like they help me as well. Um, and, yeah, I love it. Brilliant.